No, opponent's playing a better version of our deck. I think this card has some secret text on it that you always draw it in round one. I feel like every time I've ever played this deck, Holger has been in my round one hand. It might be bugged. I want more pirates. Give me some pirates. R. Uh, it's good against Blob. It's pretty good against the engine decks. It's probably finding its Nilfgaard. I'm not as sure about that one though. R matey. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a bad wild boar deck. <laughs> uh, let's just take it. It's not getting any better. We kill so much stuff. Rock thing next turn. Okay, we can do that. It gets one better. Okay, maybe it's getting a lot better. I might have lied. Stay ahead with our garbage, I guess. More always at least plays for six. So I played Boar, he played Totem. I played Holger, he played Jenga, Donar. Kind of even. You miss boar plus wolfsbane. This one's the longest round I can get, right? Because I have cleaver. Crafting hill is pretty good. It's got a lot of good matchups. It was really underrated last season, too. It's just a good deck. I like it. Just take that cleaver, right? It's not getting any better. He's already played a Jenga that doesn't play anything bigger than a Jenga, aside from, I suppose, the brawlers that are already in his graveyard. This lines up a savagery for him. Just use like croc savagery, but whatever. We'll get that eventually. Are there any pirate synergy besides Holger? Uh not pirate synergy. There's some boat synergy with a Corsair. Deals one for every ship in your hand. It's really more of a boat deck than a pirate deck. Huh. Friendly Dow. So I get three on my Ulfadin. When I ult for this, but I get three on any old five, and there should be, there might be more fives. Um, I know we're pinging this. Ping lock. 
He's got Priest, we can kill Priest with Donar. This decks don't usually play Priest though. Nice. Plays into Scorch, but no one plays Scorch. You have to screenshot it. That. Got a seven and a nine. Might be quality here. I don't know. We don't have anything too tall. So his like Ulfidin isn't great. Any tall removal he has isn't great. Place for something. We're up five with a seven in hand. Or up four with a seven in hand. Cool. Harold is always nonsense. That thing doesn't have a Holger. Huh, it's not bugged. Wow. I just Mulligan Cleaver instead of Professional. Why did I do that? One, two. Yeah, let's not let that run away. My every Herald I face plays units, you only get unitless, I don't know. I'm just lucky, I guess. So I can't kill this. Unless I burn professional, which I'm obviously not going to do. Uh, I think we're done here. Yeah. Then Lord is keeping this as to play both of our best cards. Kinda wish I kicked professional instead of cleaver. Not entirely. I didn't play a gold. Oh god. Can you protect your bow with bleeding bug? Uh probably. He doesn't look like a deck that's gonna have artifacts, right? Ugh. I'll just take a dry pass with it. Get my mulligan value. I'm gonna look real dumb when he leads on summoning circle. And immediately regret not just playing Frenzied Dao from our artifact removal. It was always likely. It was whatever though. It'd be nice to be able to hit Ale. It's not the most important thing. They can play around it too. A lot of these Croc decks play Frenzied Dao. Oh, I had a roach in my deck. Those kicks were greedy. That is not cool. What? My Holger. I've only got a couple of pirates, so it doesn't matter too much. Or a couple of ships. But really? Interesting.
I don't know if I care about the Herald, honestly. But like, what else am I bad burning? Hmm. That's annoying. Uh, okay, okay, you, you got me. Ping in the boat. That's a line. I'm worried about not getting... I'm probably too worried about not getting a professional. I can always line it up with the totem if I needed to. That might have been really bad. I don't know. He doesn't need much. You did more than that, though. Cool. Eithne. What beats the blob? Uh, croc does. Generally. The croc control. Eithne. No! We didn't find the pirate dude. Hey, Colorado, the Dish Prime. Thanks, man. First sub of the day. We don't have enough boats in our hand anyway that we wanted to play Corsairs. I forgot to use Croc, but that's okay. Never thought Pirate Stick could win a game. <laughs> I don't know, it's basically just Croc Control in round 3. It plays all the same, same stuff. You're a little handicapped with your bronzes, it's not too big of a deal. Nice thinning. What did I lose? Oh, my elf. Whatever. Um, he just wants to get out. The two options are... Eh. Last play's good. I should have pinged this though so I can vab you on. Oh no. So he's got a big skags. Yeah... At least this way he can't play Caribic Rides for free in round 2. Though an immune Gabor is pretty tough to beat in round 3. I don't know. That might be just as bad for us. I probably should have held the Roach. Small in round 3. Oh wow, now we have enough boats that this is actually a reasonable card. Not really what you want to be doing in round 3. <laughs> Uh, go go Holger. Boats won't live. Maybe they will if they're boosted to five. Corsair doesn't care if they live. Corsair wants them to be in your hand. He's much better than Mahakam Guard. <laughs> Never played the card. Understandable. I just don't know very much about the progression system in Gwent right now. It's changed a lot since it really mattered to me.
How can you learn the game? Uh, installing it and playing some games. Once you've done that, watching streams and playing more games always helps. Thankfully, our opponent's cards looking kind of bad. Rod for Sharon. What am I? What is my positioning? What did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> you fool! You've activated my trap card. <laughs> it didn't matter, but. Wait, it did matter. We only won by one. If you're playing one point less for two provisions less. Anything doing quest mode other than buying game of the day? Uh, it depends on your location. They have a lot of different offers. But I know some of them aren't available in all areas. Let me see, how do I see... If you go to the Quests tab, there should be a bunch of different games you can play there. I think they'll look one offer, is that normal? Uh, disable ad block on the page, maybe? Oh, fuck. I thought it was my opponent's turn. You got me. I blame chat. Nice. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. At worst, it's four points for eight provisions. I mean, it's worth whatever the card you're creating is. If it gets locked, your opponent's interacting with you. If it gets killed, it's your opponent interacting with you. Usually you're, you're making something that's either zealed or has some kind of inherent protection. Go, go, Holger. Is Unilus AQ win? It's basically just an AQ deck that plays a Fog and an Ale. So it starts round three without playing units. Oh, wait, you're talking about full. I didn't even know that was a thing. When I think Unitless AQ, people are usually referring to the, the Saber deck from last season. Yeah, if you can win round one. The thing with AQ is there's so many different variants. Some of them don't care at all about getting bled, and some of them lose when they get bled. And it's really hard to identify what version they are just from what they played in round one. What is he doing? Okay. Should have I pinged first? He lost a point. Got him.
Yep, exactly. You don't know what they are until round three. That's the point. Ow. Why'd you lock the ship and not Holger? Because Holger sucks. Why would you lock a card that's bad? <laughs> well, he knows how many points the ship is getting. He's not really playing a card here, right? Come on. Yeah, that's... As much as I'd like for you to play another card here. Am I supposed to bleed I think? <laughs> Not how this matchup goes. I'm still drawing the cleaver. I don't have anything that's long round. My hand is really gold too. Just played one carryover card. This might be silly. I don't really want to let him just go bore me for free. See, Mike, glad you could stop in. Big savagery if he's going to give it to me. No Gimpy, please. Okay. You got me. Whatever. Whatever. Draw a cleaver too. Uh, no, he scorched our totem, our Babyorn, and our primal savagery. Pretty sure we just don't have enough points to be just hand buffed card. Maybe it'll be a professional number. I believe we have lost. It kind of depends how big this is. So he kills this, ping ping. If I can professional it, we win by one. Hey! You got him. Primal Savagery is the exact kind of card that I think Gwent needs more of. Sure, but only in Croc, not across the entire faction. And even then, in Croc, it's not like it's totally free either. You gotta worry about it a little in short round threes. Do not have the dude. Yeah, it's a reliable 7 for 5 if your deck is built to handle it, and that's fine. The game needs more cards like that. Why are you still playing this? 1, 2. I 
Oh no. It's going to three. Three is fairly safe. Before it goes to two, I won't attack it. I'd use the six point pirate man. This, just play it whenever. This card basically has no text on it. It mills you towards your good cards just as much as it mills your good cards. This looks kind of silly, but. Points a point. Time to take spending on your hand and deck. Yeah, if you have tutors, or like you thin to zero anyway, it matters. But we don't do either of those things. So it effectively has no text. We're playing Roach, I guess. It matters for exactly Roach. Um, this is tricky to find value on later. Just take this. It's not thriving two more times. Ah, uh, maybe we should just take the Griffin to one. Yeah. It probably doesn't matter, but I should have just take the Griffin to one. That's kind of sad. We know we're not going to draw a Wild War now. Makes winning this round a lot less important. So wait, even if he plays... No, if he plays Spirit Tip Asleep, this thrives. Bad card, so it's good. I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even sure how much the, the Wild Boar really matters. It's usually our long round payoff, but... It's kind of tough to have enough damaged units against the Thrive deck. Hey, Olaf, what's up? Holger. Not the best Holger. <laughs> sure. I guess this is worth doing first. My best score ever? Uh, I think I was like slightly above 26 in the first homecoming season. I usually don't push my armors that hard. I'll get to like 25, 50, and just play something else. I'm gonna want to ping this anyway, just to get the Vabjorn on it, most likely. Long ship. It actually just doesn't matter. So that's the best Vabjorn I can ever possibly get, so... He already has a Spear Tip in his graveyard after Azrael. There's no punish doing this now. The one's pretty good. And his last card's probably Azrael, which will just professional. No matter what he sets it to. Sure. Also gets professional. Geralt, Pirate Captain. Not quite. Hey YouTube, you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Here's some other videos that you uh you might enjoy. Thanks for uh thanks for watching everybody. Yeah, there. Right there. They should be should be They should be right about right about there. Right there. Yep. Right there.